My name is Shauna Coxey and I'm one of the founders of the Women's Climbing Symposium, which is the event that we're at today. We are in Birmingham and it's the ninth Women's Climbing Symposium, so it's been going for nine years, which seems really crazy. It's an amazing atmosphere in here. This event aims to connect, develop and inspire women in climbing and it really feels like that's what's happening today. The reason that I started this event was because I was coaching a women's class and a lot of the women within that class were facing similar barriers. This event has changed and developed over the years and every year we ask in our questionnaire, do you still want a women's climbing event, a women's only event? And every year it's always yes. For me, gender equality is a really interesting topic. I started climbing 22 years ago, I think it is now, so a really long time ago. It was really quite rare at that point to see other women at the climbing wall. So my personal experience, gender equality, is it's kind of it's changed so dramatically over two decades of me being in the sport. To be here today and have 300 women in this centre who are really passionate about our sport, but who are all here because we're climbers. And yes, it's a women's event, but everyone loves climbing because they love climbing, not because they're a woman or a female climber, they just love our sport. And the more we can celebrate that, the better. And I think the more we look at people as climbers, the better. So yeah, I think it's changing and getting better, but we still need to work on it for both men and women. Um, welcome to the ninth Women's Climbing Symposium. I cannot believe it's been nine years, and thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it seems like a really long time ago that we were sat chatting around her table talking about this event and to be here now and have 300 women sat here in front of me is amazing. Have as much fun as possible, come and ask us questions, chat to us, meet new people, get as much information as you can and yeah, enjoy it. The original idea was to help women overcome barriers within the sport. However, that's definitely changed and it's definitely become more of a celebration of climbing and our goal is to connect, develop and inspire. And that's what we aim to do through our talks, coaching sessions and everything that goes on within the day. Our sport was massively male dominated and still is in some ways, but this event isn't really about female climbers anymore, it's just a massive celebration of women in climbing. I think you turn up at a climbing wall sometimes and it can be quite an intimidating environment, maybe not intentionally, um, but there's things that perhaps women normally wouldn't try within a session, whether that's going steep climbing or dynamic climbing, that they're perhaps maybe a bit more confident to try in a workshop. and. Just generally, like I guess, having a female, an inspirational female role model coaching you and being a bit more empathetic, uh, and maybe understanding those reservations and those feelings that you might have about making a fool of yourself. Um, and I think it's just nice to have like so many inspiring role models here that um, that you can chat to and realise that we're all actually just human. I really, really enjoyed the core session with Rachel. I learned a lot more than I could ever understand um, before actually coming here. So um, I really developed and been really inspired by everything that's been going on. My favourite part today was definitely seeing so many like stoked, psyched, supportive, encouraging women all over the place and just being able to kind of like share common experience and chat and get to know other like-minded women has been really really valuable. Um, so I think we've had 
had a really, really good day. We've been so lucky to have such amazing participants and such a great team behind us. And uh, I think the energy was high. We discussed some amazing issues and hopefully everybody is leaving feeling connected, developed and inspired. The Women's Climate Symposium has definitely developed and grown over the years and it's happened very organically. Our sport's grown and it's gone at this alarming rate. I mean, with the Women's Climate Symposium we had 60 people at our very first event. We had 500 last year, we've got 300 here this year. It's growing and growing and I just want to see that keep developing in a positive way. And I don't know what the legacy should be because I think that will change and develop as, as our sport does and as our participants do. So yeah, it's kind of not up to me what the legacy is, but up to what people want it to be.